Back in 2020, it was announced that BuzzFeed Studios was doing a Gamergate movie, and they wanted to tackle toxicity in a comedic way. And after the massive backlash it faced, there was only silence about it. But apparently, only a few months ago, Amazon quietly obtained the distribution rights for it, and now they've quietly released it, hoping people wouldn't notice. And it's just as bad as I thought it would be. I have a bunch of things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. Now, there's not a lot of articles released about this movie. There were a handful from a few weeks ago when they were kind of promoting it before the official release, so I'm going to reference the Screen Rant article, but I am going to give you some of my in-depth thoughts of the movie. Spoiler alert, I wasted an hour and a half of my life watching this film, and I would not recommend you do the same. This article says, One Up Trailer gives first look at Ruby Rose's new video game comedy. Now, Ruby Rose wasn't actually the first choice for the professor role in this film. When we initially heard about the movie and that BuzzFeed Studios was doing this film, we heard that it was the then Ellen Page, now Elliot Page, who was starring as one of the main characters who was the professor in this, but they ended up dropping out and Ruby Rose decided to step in. It says, the upcoming film 1UP explores sexism within the world of competitive gaming and finds Ruby Rose playing the coach of a college esports team. Now, I did watch this, and I'm going to give you some of my in-depth thoughts, but it was very, very bad. So there's two main groups in this film. You've got a group of female esports players, the two main characters who work at a game store, and then the group of male players are on a competitive esports team called the Betas. Ruby Rose plays a professor who talks about the industry and basically paints it as a terrible thing the whole entire movie. Four minutes and 55 seconds into the film, Ruby Rose's character is talking about popular video games. She mentions Laura Croft and a male character character's dialogue is literally, Laura Croft is smoking tits. Ha 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 ha. Then her character goes on about how games are marketed towards only men. Then the dialogue spirals into, when you're making your games, please consider giving your characters a pair of pants. And then, of course, the quirky female character says, or regular sized tits. So this right off the bat is what this film is. It makes fun of gaming culture. It makes fun of gamers. It makes fun of anyone that it basically can. This is dialogue that happens when she's giving a class on the history of video games. Why? Why isn't she talking about companies who created the games and systems that started the industry, or the creators and their concepts? Why not talk about actual game development? This is the problem. It's not supposed to be funny for gamers. It's supposed to make fun of gamers. All of the men in this abomination are assholes, and that's another problem. Yeah, the industry has some crappy people in it. Every industry does. Don't give them the attention they want. When you feed the trolls, the trolls are worse. So within the first 10 minutes of the film, you can tell what it's going to be. It's going to be a very classic, the men are bad, the women are good. Ha ha, we're not laughing with you about gaming, we're laughing at you about gaming. We're not trying to make this a movie for people who actually like games. We're trying to make fun of people that like games. So right off the bat, you can tell that this is going to be a terrible experience. You can tell as you watch this film, the people who created it aren't actually gamers. It's like they went on social media, found a couple of buzzwords, found a couple of um, examples of funny things that have happened. They saw the way that gamers generally talk, or the way they think gamers generally talk, and then they just decided to make a movie around it. This film is so freaking bad. The jokes come across at times like they wanted to make fun of it, yet we know their intentions, and we clearly can see it's supposed to paint the women as heroes and the men as disgusting, piggish douchebags. It 
This movie only has one angle. This is a comedy predicated on the lie that Gamergate was a massive harassment campaign meant to keep women out of gaming, which isn't the case. It was about ethics and journalism in the gaming industry. I remember they had marketed this years ago as a movie about a socially relevant topic, which of course made no sense because Gamergate isn't socially relevant in 2022, but this movie only really has the viewpoint of a feminist frequency group or an Anita Sarkeesian. It doesn't actually talk about what Gamergate was about, which was ethics and the gaming industry in general. I also wanted to show off some of the user reviews on IMDb, but you'll notice there are clearly a lot of people here who would typically agree with the general themes and jokes that agree the industry has problems, yet they hate this movie. The first few reviews are 3 out of 10s. They say tries to address the subject of sexism in gaming, but suffocates it with badly timed lowbrow comedic backwash left over from the mid-2000s. People saying, from gross to worse, a disservice to diversity. A 1 out of 10 stars, 100% unwatchable. A 3 out of 10. They could have done better than that. Production value was not the problem. It was more like the story and what they tried to tell with this movie. It's about a girl who founds an all-women's esports team with a few non-professional gamers. At this point, you can guess the whole plot already. At the beginning, they're really bad, and then they rise and get better and all that stuff. Very predictable. Screenwriting wasn't any better. Some dialogues are just cringe. Some actions just not fitting. Feels like a B-tier movie but not a good one. Unbelievably inept, boring, and annoying. Another Ruby Rose fail. Need I say more? I didn't actually know that Ruby Rose was cast in this. I had no idea that they decided to cast her as the professor and that she was part of this project. And when I saw it, I was like, really? Ruby Rose? I mean, hey, Batwoman failed. She's out of Batwoman now. I guess she really needed a job and this is the best that she could get. A 1 out of 10, what utter crap. I've never rated a movie less than 5 out of 10. I can usually find some light to bring it up a tad. This, I'd give it a 0 if I could. The script is horrible. The scenes make no sense. The relationships are completely unbelievable. Ruby Rose's acting is poor. The gaming events should be intense, but they just put you to sleep. It was utter cringe. And I hate using the word cringe because the word cringe is cringe, but this film is very cringe cringeworthy. I decided to watch it because I wanted to have my own opinions on it. I wanted to be able to chat about it in a video, and I really wish that I didn't waste my time watching it at this point. It was just very, very bad. I didn't expect this film to be good and actually represent what Gamergate truly was, but it was worse than I even could have imagined. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.